For WTSA News and Brattleboro Community Television, my name is Ian Kelly. Some of the stories we're following on this Thursday, February 14th. Brattleboro Police are investigating a pedestrian vehicle accident which took place last evening. Police received a call from a subject who advised they had been struck by a southbound vehicle while crossing Putney Road at the intersection of North Street at around 6 p.m. It was reported that the vehicle did not stop. The pedestrian was treated by the Brattleboro Fire Department and Rescue Inc. for minor injuries. Vermont Senator Patrick Leahy will vote against the nomination of William Barr to be Attorney General. Leahy says he respects Barr and feels he would stand faithfully by his genuinely held convictions. But Leahy says the Trump administration may simply need a much tighter leash than the last time that Barr held the job during the George H.W. Bush administration. The nomination will soon come to a vote of the full U.S. Senate. The Wyndham County Heat Fund is heating up for its biggest yearly fundraiser. Heating it up with the Ladies of the Rainbow will take place Saturday, March 2nd at 8 p.m. at the VFW on Black Mountain Road in Brattleboro. Suggested donation is $20 and tickets may be reserved at Vermont Artisans Design in Brattleboro or by calling Richard Davis at 254-2240 or by calling Daryl Pillsbury at 254-4285 or by email at wcheatfund at comcast.net. Former Vermont Governor Howard Dean is back in the national political scene, the one-time presidential candidate, former Vermont governor, and ex-Democratic National Committee chairman will head a new data exchange hammered out by DNC officials, state party leaders, and Democratic consultants. The arrangement would allow the national party, state parties, and independent political action groups on the left to share voter data in real time during campaigns. In WTSA Sports, Jason Tatum scored 19 points and another good game for Gordon Hayward, who finished with 18, as the Boston Celtics held off a Detroit Pistons rally 118-110 last night. Boston's got some time off as the NBA is headed for its All-Star weekend break and a brief break in regular season action. The Bruins are in Anaheim tomorrow night up against the Ducks. Friday night face-off for the Bees is 10 p.m. And from Red Sox camp at Fort Myers, Alex Cora said the plan is to carry just two catchers this year instead of three they carried last year. Christian Vasquez would appear to be a lock as he signed through 2021. That leaves Sandy Leone or Blake Swayhart. Leone earns raise from the pitching staff. Leone did hit 177 last year. For WTSA News and for Brattleboro Community Television, my name is Ian Kelly.